What's up guys, Black Rose Duelist here, and I'm here to show you guys uh, my opinion on the new uh, booster pack changes in 2016 news. Now I'm sure 99.9% .9 of you guys have already seen the news, and you're just here to see what my opinion is. Um, but if you haven't, um, I'm going to give you 5 seconds. Get ready for this information, okay? Don't want to cause any heart attacks on Black Rose Duelist. I don't want to be a part of that mess. No more ultimates or ghosts in normal Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs. Now while you're sinking that in, um, I'll talk about other news. So in shameful promoting news, my new parody, Can't Play My Deck, is coming out tomorrow, 9-19, September 19th, at 1pm Eastern Standard Time. You better be there. Uh, it's my favorite parody I've ever made, uh, the most creative Best singing, I know. How could my singing ever be good? Well, you're going to have to wait and see tomorrow at 9 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. So, yeah. Subscribe and make sure to watch my parody tomorrow. It's so back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! news, which is way less important than this. I mean, come on, guys. Why would Yu-Gi-Oh! news be more important than Black Rose Duels' parodies? I mean, let's be real. Was, some was someone just here? I don't know who that was. Anyways, um, back to the other booster pack changes. There are much more than just ultimates and ghosts being moved around. Um, so, in starting with Breakers of Shadows, which will be coming out um, this uh, January 2016. Um, still nine card uh, packs, but here's the catch. Um, there will be a foil. There will be a hollow. You will get something shiny in every one of your packs. I personally don't like it that much, but whatever. Um, so instead of them rising the cost of the pack, they're making it so um, there's no more ultimates or ghosts, but they double the chance of you getting an ultra and a secret. So one out of six for ultras now, and one out of 12 for secrets. Uh, so basically, you're probably going to get a lot of supers. Um, but the problem is, lately they haven't been making good supers, so they have to really make good super rares if it worth it. Um, they're probably going to make the ultras and secret rares really rare um, and good, too. So, or not really rare, but you know the rarities now. So the, the only thing I don't like about this is they're kind of making the really rare cards not as rare anymore. You used to have a 1 out of 24 chance of getting a secret, now you have a 1 out of 12. You still only have a 1 out of 12 percent, 1 out of 12 uh, chance of getting an ultra, and now you have 1 out of 6. It's technically better, but kind of worse. It's going to reduce the value of a lot of cards now. Say, um, should all wind up is $20 in a super. Or, um, no, it's an ultra. Pretend it's a super, and it was $20. Right now, if it got printed today with this new ruling, it'd probably only be $5. Um, which is good, but also bad, because the economy of Yu-Gi-Oh! will be going down. Because you're not going to have that many people selling things, so it's not going to be worth that much. Because all these new cards are going to be really easy to get. Um, so I guess for the player it's good, but for the sellers it's not good at all. Um, so, and after that, um, Ghost Shares will be coming back soon, and Ultimates will now be an Astral Pack. Now, I'm not a lover of Ultimates, but I do find a lot of Ultimates better than the Ultras. Um, like Shikini Ganaga, the Shadal, uh, I find my Ultimate way better than if it was an Ultra or a Secret Rare. Um, but some cards I don't like Ultimate Rare in. So overall, I'm not mad at this, but I know a lot of people like Ultimate Rare cards. So, for the schedule, we have October 2nd, High Speed Riders, November 6th, Dimension of Chaos, and January 15th, Breakers of Shadows, which will premiere this new way of getting out packs. So, I guess my final stance on this would be, I don't have a negative effect on it, but I also don't have a positive one. I'm happy that when I go buy packs, I'm not going to get nothing, but I'm also mad that I'm not, I don't have a good chance of getting something that will be crazy good. So now, for example, there's a way better chance you're going to get 
let's say, a tour guide when it was $150. When you get that tour guide, you now are like, oh, I pulled a tour guide. Cool. It was a pretty good chance. But when you pull a tour guide before, you're like, oh my gosh, there's like a one out of, there's like a 5% chance I would have gotten, no, way less, like a 1% chance I would have gotten this 5% for a secret rare. But now it's like, oh, same with supers. I'm like, okay, at least I got a super rare. Now I'm going to be like, I only got super rares. It's going to be a little weird. Um, so tell me your opinion on it in the comment section below. Make sure to watch my parody tomorrow, so subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.